whose life in building civilization on earth have come to what we see today. Its traces in every region on earth saves history which provokes more advanced thinking to dig and to find out who they are. The theory about Austronesian is about diaspora, mitigation or distribution in terms of Austra as south and Nessos as island. In this southern island, a language clump of a race agreed originated from the mainland in the southern part of China and a small island called Taiwan. This diaspora spread out in a few waves which eventually inherited the furthest territory to Madagascar, Easter Islands and New Zealand, which is determined genetically and linguistically. Distribution of the nation, which is called Austronesian, began about 4,000 years ago, and among the legacy, the archipelago is the largest diaspora territory they visit about 3,500 and 3,000 years ago. It had sounded clump up to subclump of Austronesian languages, the encounter between races, thus the diversity mixed up with existing social culture. The distribution of the earliest Austronesian in the archipelago was called Proto-Malays, who reached the mainland of Sulawesi up to the eastern region to the comprehensive mainland of Papua which interacts with Austro-Melanosoid. Migrating to the west part, reached the mainland of Sumatra, possibly through Borneo or Java. But Indonesia is the largest archipelago country in the world, and among the comprehensive islands they visit, there is an island in the past that was known for a series of human fossil discoveries, which became world news, namely Java. Austronesian traces in Java. There is a place on the south coast with a stretch of Gunung Sewu facing the Indian Ocean. The east end of Gunung Sewu area in Pachitan is a haven for cave searches that spread throughout in Ponong as the site of the subdistrict name. In the context of Neolithic, Pachitan is about the center of making stone tools with the work that is finer than the Paleolithic or the pre-Neolithic period. Untuk tinggalan-tinggalan yang bersifat kehidupan pada masa mereka ketika mereka sudah mulai mengenal pertanian maupun mengenal alat logam, kita juga melihat ada indikasi adanya kehidupan yang sudah mulai menetap dengan hasil-hasil budaya yang jauh lebih kompleks dan jauh lebih bagus bila dibandingkan dengan kehidupan-kehidupan pada masa sebelumnya. Di sini kita menemukan artefak yang cukup beragam, alat-alat batunya juga sudah mulai dipersiapkan secara khusus, bahkan sudah mengalami proses-proses penghalusan. The Austronesian initially tended to inhabit caves and interact with the original occupants of the race Austromelanosoid and then move the occupancy to nature to develop agriculture, industrial equipment and stone jewellery. As in Punung, they maximize support resources in the neighborhood for their daily life. They chose a centralized place in the landscape to provide the equipment they need. Not far from the location of the cave and the location of Baksoka River, Ngarijangan village is their workshop to make square axes, pickaxe and even arrowheads. The maker of stone tools chooses the high quality material, silica limestone, malleable, appropriate anatomical grip, but also strong enough as a tool to cut the prey they get. Residents in Ngrijangan village called it a church stone. Most of them build a lush plantation land, livestock barns, 
and shaded homes in the form of workshop and they let the waste rock is still there. They merely set aside or smoothed it. But for the archaeologists, they can find ready-to-use stone tool products which were hidden for thousands of years. Juga kebiasaan membuat alat-alat berupa beliung persegi itu saya kira juga menandakan bahwa mereka sudah hidup dengan bukan lagi berburu dan mengumpulkan makanan tetapi juga sudah mulai bisa menghasilkan makanan karena diduga mereka juga sudah mulai mengenal pertanian terbukti dengan banyaknya alat-alat beliung persegi yang kita temukan di daerah ini Sugeng sih yang Bu Siang Pak Waduh, kenapa nih Pak Bu? Ini bahan ini Bu setengah jadi untuk apa ya Pak? Untuk beliung nih? Iya Kita untuk nanti kita tuh nonton reku pak waktu gali angge nguruk niki oh buatin buatin pas sapin buatin dia buatin pas oh pas gali niku urukan niku this mother in the village Ngrijangan is the example of residents who live in the land of stone tool workshop aware of its archaeological value she found the square axe which is a tool that is ready to use perhaps this axe maker left it as inventory has not been booked retrieved or distributed. A Neolithic works that is more subtle than stone tool makers in the Paleolithic and Pre-Neolithic. Gunung Sewu is a karst area in the southern part of Java Island, which has the status of UNESCO Global Geopark Networks, with the geo area that extends about 85 kilometers from Pachitan in East Java, Wanugiri in Central Java, to the West End, which is located in Gunung Kidul in Yogyakarta. With an area of 1,802 square kilometers, Gunung Sewu Geopark forms a conical hill, or small hills, that look like an inverted cup with caves that became an ideal residential choice for the Austronesian race. In the past, this area has been inhabited also by Australomelanosaur race, even from the cultural imprints of Pachitanian on the Baksoko River. Early humans are thought to have inhabited it since hundreds of thousands of years ago. Far into the hinterland of the southern coastal region of central Java, Burbalinga became the first settlement to Austronesians. A geographic characteristic at the foot of one of the highest mountains in Java, Gunung Slamet. Date evidence so far showed an Austronesian has inhabited this region around 3,500 years ago. Numerous studies in Purbalinga still hope to find human remains, which is expected to disappear because of the soil acidity or because they settled on the river banks, until these fossils may go along drifting to the river. But the research activity in the area, Tipa Ponjan and Limbasari, have found stone materials and fragments indicating that they make a product that is thinking about the aesthetic aspects. It is a rhinestone bracelet. Di lapisan tanah itu kita menemukan uh, banyak sekali serpe-serpe. Dan memang dari hasil temuan itu kita bisa memastikan memang di wilayah desa Limbasari ini sebagai situs perbengkelan alat batu, terutama gelang dan beliung persegi dari bahan cat warna hijau. This theory holds a technical thinking that is the making of stone bracelets is more complicated than making stone tools such as axes. The author did not think to connect the stone into a bracelet but a beautiful complete circle to decorate their body or a sense that they provide on the bracelet. 
Traces of Austronesian peoples in Purbalinga put himself on the cross past, where the rock becomes important medium in all his thoughts. In the Neolithic, the stone becomes a challenge to think about aspects of technique and aesthetics. But later, as the megalithic period, cobblestone became the medium of worship when people started receiving ideologies of ritual. From the region of Javanese speakers in the east and central, Austronesian traces shifted to the western region of Java Island that had Sundanese speakers. Away from the crowds of the center of West Java that located in Sangabuana Mountain, Karawang, Medalsari village lived daily with the pillars of tradition since the days of their ancestors. Jadi uh, di setiap rumah yang ada di Medalsari ini, baik rumah uh, panggung yang masih kayu ataupun rumah tembok, itu hampir selalu kita menemukan sebuah ruangan khusus yang disebut pandaringan. Ukuran pandaringan sendiri itu uh, bermacam-macam, jadi tergantung pada si pemilik rumah. Tetapi tujuan dari uh, pembuatan atau pembangunan pandaringan ini sendiri adalah sebetulnya untuk menyimpan beras. Tetapi di balik penyimpanan beras itu ada mana sakral gitu. Jadi kita bisa melihat mana kesakralan itu adalah dengan adanya pemujaan. Pemujaan itu masih dilakukan oleh masyarakat uh, Mendalsari dengan uh, dibuktikan dengan adanya temuan-temuan seperti hmm, misalnya benda-benda pusaka yang harus ditempatkan di situ. Terus adanya juga sesaji yang secara berkala harus di, diberikan gitu, baik berupa bunga-bungaan ataupun kemenyan. Uh, mengenai uh, kearifan masyarakat uh, Medalsari ar dengan arsitektur rumah-rumahnya yang khas menurut saya ini adalah uh, memiliki teras yang secara teras di luar yang terbuka yang uh, dibiarkan memang tidak ada dinding dan ini memang ditujukan untuk uh, apa namanya tempat sosialisasi uh, para para warga jadi uh, ini satu ungkapan bahwa mereka terbuka pada para tamu. Jadi uh, disediakan sebuah, ah, bukan sebuah ya, artinya disediakan meja, disediakan kursi-kursi uh, dengan berbagai minuman ada yang di dalam. Kadang-kadang ada di beberapa tempat mungkin bisa kita temukan gula kopi, teh, ada juga yang apa namanya kendi berisi air. Itu hanya sebeda, se, 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 apa, sebuah ungkapan hormat mereka pada tamu. Jadi istilahnya tamu itu tidak akan kehausan. Jadi siapapun mau datang minum silahkan ambil. Sundanese language speakers are those who live in West Java without any history indicating that they came from a different place. The arrival of Austronesian is the culture support process, which produces many traditions as a media ritual. And Medalsari village is an engaging portrait of how indigenous people with the Austronesian speakers, which produce ways of growing crops, farming, social interaction and mutual assistance that are preserved until today on ritual and spiritual strength. Paling penting di sini adalah uh, biodiversity dan uh, culture diversity. Biodiversity ya di sini banyak vegetasi-vegetasi yang dilindungi oleh masyarakat. Ada tradisi dan kepercayaan di sini masyarakat uh, melindungi itu, melarang penebangan pohon. Dan mereka memproteksi pohon-pohon uh, di hulu daripada sungai harus dia dilindungi. Karena dia merupakan bagian daripada Ket menari ya dari eh, air di situ. Nah itu dia memelihara juga eh, sumur resapan yang cukup luas yang disebut Grand Canyon di situ. Ya ada di bawahnya ada kubangan yang besar itu. Itu merupakan eh, sumur resapan. Air itu tidak hanya terbuang dia meresap. 
kemudian ada dibuatkan saluran irigasi. This talks about the types of artifacts found in the land where they stood, a settlement of Batawi in Babylon, Bekasi, approaching the northern coast in West Java. Of artifacts kept in Kong Saki's house, a man who during his life excavating land behind his house to collect objects that he considered valuable. These two young archaeologists find out from Kong Saki's wife about what was stored in his house. One more give a lot of history of the settlements of which half was turned into the place of establishment of a factory. From this source they are looking for a new location for their excavation activities to find out more about the Buni culture and trace Austronesian, mainly from handheld axes that characterized the Neolithic. Before they make sure of the excavation place, they should head to Batu Jaya to see and know the special findings there. Their mentor has been doing research on the Batu Jaya site since 2005 in a region that is the closest to the north coast. Nah, ini di di sebelah timur dari Jakarta itu ada Sungai Citarum. Di sebelah Cit barat Citarum itulah yang sebetulnya yang pertama-tama kali disebutkan ada kelompok masyarakat Buni. Kurang lebih kira-kira di Babelan itu. Itu yang pertama-tama uh, ditemukan diindikasikan sebagai kelompok masyarakat Buni. Kalau yang di sini nih belum lama sebetulnya. Ini uh, kita bisa mengatakan kaitannya dengan sana ketika dilakukan penggalian yang sebetulnya berhubungan dengan kerajaan Purnawarman di mana ada kelompok candi-candi di sini. Tapi begitu kita masuk lebih dalam lagi, kita menemukan tembikar yang berbeda dengan tembikar yang ada di atas juga bekal uh, kerangka manusia dengan bekal kuburnya baru kita bisa mengatakan ini kelompok masyarakat bumi juga If the Metal Sari village showed the traditional practices in context of ritual and spiritual from the connecting medium so here Austronesian supporting culture live up until they receive the dogma that goes from outside the archipelago in Batu Jaya, sites have been found more than 20 of the temple ruins. But temples here, on the tentative conclusions of his research, has been established in the second century. That means in relation to the end of the prehistoric period, three centuries before the great kingdom Tarumanagara stands. The northern coast of West Java, like a dreamland to be visited by many nations and cultures in the modern centuries, reached the prosperity for many businesses by the Straits of Malacca. Here also the people are rapidly accepting the changes and recognize the alphabet, then build their empire and building houses of worship as the media in accepting the dogma that come from the outside the archipelago. The society of Buni is a witness to this wealth as when they accept the culture of Austronesians.